Hey guys, Comptrix here, and I, uh, I kind of want to get straight to the point. I don't want this to be a long video. I know I said that in my last video, and it ended up being two minutes, so that's not too bad. So, yeah, let's get started. So, today we're going to be learning how to do, uh, like, make your own patterns, like these lines on this, on this background here. Come on. I don't like this mouse. Okay, see those lines? Yeah, we're going to be making those and a different pattern. So we're going to go to File, New, make it about, depending on how big you want the <coughs> the lines or how big you want whatever pattern you're going to make. Um, Mine, on this background, on my main channel, is 15 by, wait, no, 5 by 5 pixels. I'm going to make it 8 by 8. And then we're going to zoom in all the way. If you're wondering how I'm zooming in, I'm pushing Alt and then scrolling. Unlock the background layer <coughs> by double clicking it and then click OK. Now we're going to want this all blank. So we're going to take the rectangular mark carry tool, select everything, and then push backspace. Then hit Control D to deselect everything. And now just to get our pattern in there. We're going to make a line. So select the line tool out of the shapes. If it's not there, just right click it and then click line tool or click left click and hold and then click line tool. So we're gonna make sure the corner is matched up with the little with the little indent in the X, you know. Alright, so you're gonna hold shift, click and drag all the way here. The reason why you're holding shift is so it's a perfect line. Alright, I don't know why it's faded, so I have to fix this every time. So I'm going to take my pencil, make sure this is the right color. If it's not, then just go to this tool and select it. Anyways, so yeah, so I'm going to fill these in with a solid color. Okay, now we're going to go to the eraser tool and erase all of these little transparent blocks. Come on. I don't like this part. <laughs> Once you're finished with that, uh, okay, almost done. So, whatever color you want your lines to be, you better make this line that color. So, you can just right click blending options and go to co color of eh, color overlay. Change this to whatever you want. I'm going to make it a, a, a little kind of darkish turquoise. <clears throat> now go to edit, define pattern, and name it uh, what, green line. Okay. Yeah. Alright. Now we have our pattern. I'm just going to make one more so you guys get the idea. Um, Alright. So delete this. And this time I'm going to select the Eclipse tool. Okay, Control D. Now line it up right there. Click. I'm I'm holding Shift. Just noting that. Right there. All right. Now we're gonna delete all these transparent blocks everywhere. There's a lot of them. My eraser isn't getting everything. Actually, I'm gonna get these two. They're not that transparent, but I, I can see that they're transparent. And I don't like that. Okay, yeah, I think that's good. Now we're gonna delete the inside just because that's the effect that I'm looking for. And now, alright, it uh, looks like we're done. Make it whatever color you want. I'm going to try it with red this time. Yeah, yeah, red. Alright, now, remember, go to edit, uh, define pattern, and red. Name it whatever you want. It doesn't really matter. You're not even going to be seeing the names. 
So their file new to test out is I'm going to make it about 500 by 500 pixels and unlock the background, make it whatever color you want. I'm going to try black. I'll uh, get my paint bucket tool. Alright, now right click that there. Go to blending options, pattern overlay, and so your patterns will show up in here. I'm going to click my book. See, that's I like that. That's that's pretty cool. That could come to use. And then here's the line one that we made. The lines are a bit too big for me, so that's why I made this one five pixels by five pixels. See that? They're small. There. Here's the change. Not big change, but enough to where it makes a difference on the background. Anyways, thanks for watching, guys. I hope this helped. And remember, be creative.